Uh, we'll be doing ch uh, Palm Chapter uh, 4 from the Fundamentals of Chapter 12. And as we'll, uh, we're continuing with kinematics of a particle, right? So here we're trying to figure out the acceleration of the particle when t equals 2 seconds, right? If you have a graphing calculator or you do your homework uh, with a graphing calculator online, uh, this might benefit you, right? So we have the velocity as a function, actually let's write it, the velocity is a function of time of the particle, right? t cubed minus 8t, right? And we also know that acceleration is just dv dt, right? The change in velocity with respect to time, okay? So I have here let me just show you guys. So we have this is the equation they give us, right? But of course, we can ignore anything to the left because we're not going to use negative uh, t, right? So we kind of just have this. So it just shows us how the particle is moving uh, or the velocity of the particle is moving, right? And we know if we take a derivative of a cubic function, we should have a parabolic function, right? So when we, do, when we have the acceleration, when we find our acceleration, we should be expecting a parabolic um, function okay that's what we should end up getting and at t equals zero we have minus eight right it, so that's what the you know plug in t equals zero here we have negative eight all right so let's go back to the problem so let's plug in our velocity function into this equation minus eight t right we take one derivative Right, so we have three, so I'm gonna do it in steps so everyone knows where everything's coming from. Right? Minus eight. Okay. That's the derivative of the velocity function, and then we get <coughs> acceleration is one point five t squared minus eight. Okay. So yeah, so if we plug in uh, zero here, right? We're gonna get negative eight for acceleration, like we we saw on the graph. And then if we plug in a at two seconds, right? We get 1.5 t squared, so that's four minus eight. All right, so the acceleration at two seconds is minus two meters per second squared. All right, and that's let's see. So we zoom in. So the at t equals two seconds, we get minus two right there, okay? And yeah, so that's pretty much it. And again, these are very easy, right? But the more you practice these, the, the better your foundation will be going forward, okay? All right, guys, thanks for your time. If you have questions, just comment down below. And don't forget to like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.